What I'm most excited about is the progress we're making with our national linear addressable capability. First off, uh, we're making a ton of progress overcoming the technical complexity. So this is things like ad serving, uh, ad replacement. We've got a lot of smart people at Warner Media working on that, as well as across the industry. Uh, and what's most exciting is that they're collaborating, and this is very important because we need to get to standards, things like triggering and signaling so that we can scale and get to efficiencies. The second thing is we're also in conversations with all of our partners across the supply chain to figure out how we can enable this technology. They are open for business. This is folks like the MVPDs, the virtual MVPDs, streaming companies. They all want to make this a, a capability. So when you bring these two things together, it's pretty exciting because now we have a line of sight into what I refer to as a full footprint, full national addressable product. Well, before we're talking about uh, national linear addressable, let's right. just think about traditional television where we, the publisher, we distribute our ad from master control. And it's one ad that goes out to every single household. Right. There's nobody else in that supply chain. Right. With national linear addressable, we have a lot of partners that we have to work with to get that ad triggered and displayed on each individual household. Yeah, so we're gonna start with technical pilots with each of our different partners because each of the different distributors have nuances to the technology in which they're gonna deploy. Uh, the things that we're gonna test are three things. First off, we have to make sure that the experience for the consumer is flawless, right? We have premium video content, which deserves premium video ads. So it has to be seamless for the consumer. No slates, no, no, no chunks, no bumpiness. So that's number one. Uh, number two is we have to make sure that we can actually get the right ad to the right household as, as advertised. So that's right. number two. And then the third thing is the measurement part. We have to make sure that we can measure the households that get the targeted ad, but that at the same time, there's what's called under-addressable, which are the households that did not see the targeted ad. Right. So that's C3 measurement. So we now have to have a new hybrid measurement of addressable and C3. So those are the things we'll be testing in our technology pilots. So these technical pilots are gonna take some time to, to work through, but during that time, we will be working with our agency partners because we have to understand what they want out of this, this capability. National addressable is not a product, it's a capability. Right. It enables things such as you know, delivering relevant ads, things like increasing reach against a strategic target, uh, managing frequency, sequential messaging. These are all the things that we can create. So we'll be talking to our agency partners as the, the technology building blocks come together, we'll make sure that we're delivering value back to our agency partners. Well, the marketplace has been asking for addressable inventory for a long time. And historically, they've been able to, to buy that on local MVPDs. But now we're ready to light up our national inventory, which is 14 minutes per hour, and make that addressable. So we're really answering the request from our agency partners. We'll have to basically aggregate together multiple different distributors to, right. to create this fully national addressable capability.